Hey everyone, welcome to Studio Jake. I have a very special episode planned. I, uh, as you, everyone knows by watching this channel or reading my blog, I am a super nerd and I'm not ashamed. And today I wanted to do something a little bit differently than I normally do. I, you know, you've seen my trailer reaction, my comic book reviews, my movie reviews, my, my news updates, my off topic videos and whatnot. But today, I'm actually going to give you a theory about this movie. That's right, the Justice League hits theaters in November, and I'm super excited. Um, in all honesty, I think this is the film that DC should have launched with, as opposed to Man of Steel. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, DCEU has gone through several changes, and I think we're going to see a lot more. And I have a theory based on something we saw in the third trailer. And I know I'm a little late. This I wanted to do a trailer reaction to the third trailer, but just never... I was so excited that I just watched it and forgot to record myself. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this trailer is the, the most talked about, the most awesome. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and welcome to Studio Jake. Alright, so we're back, and I'm going to talk Justice League, the trailer number three. Now, I'm not going to do a full trailer breakdown. The new rock stars did an amazing trailer breakdown. You should check it out. Um, so I'm not going to rehash, because I agreed with most of the things they said. It's um, Now, we have to be cautious, though, because Zack Snyder, he had the movie... Some speculate around 95% done. It, it had entered post-production, but you know he had a he had a terrible family tragedy. You know, hearts and um, our hearts go out to him and his family. And so Joss Whedon stepped in. Now Joss Whedon, he's working on the Batgirl film, which I think is going to be amazing. Joss Whedon is really good about bringing out strong female characters. I don't care what the haters say about Avengers: Age of Ultron. I thought Black Widow was very amazing in that movie. Anyway, continuing on. Um, and he called, recalled the cast back for reshoots, and he actually eliminated Lex Luthor out of the film. Of course, we know the character got introduced in Batman vs. Superman and Dawn of Justice, and yeah, I wasn't too impressed with that version of Lex Luthor. He seemed more like the Riddler than, than Lex Luthor. In fact, I believe the actor... Um, Jesse Eisenberg, I think he actually said he thought the character was the Riddler at one point, just because of how how he was. But anyway, Joss Whedon cut Lex Luthor completely out of the movie. There will be no scenes with Luthor. So, uh, we don't really know. So a lot of the fan theories, we have to reevaluate. And there's one particular scene in Trailer 3 that has everyone's attention. Because it seems to imply the seventh member. Now, the Justice League has always been about the number seven. We don't know why that is. And it's grown and shrank at times, but it's always gone back to a core seven figures. Even if you go back to the Justice League year one, which was uh, the post-crisis origin for the Justice League. And it had, I believe, Aquaman, Flash, Martian Manhunter, and Black Canary. And even then, though, they added Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. So it always went back to seven. That wasn't seven. That was eight. It always went back to seven. And the New 52, of course, um, they have the seven, which are the, the six characters in uh, the trailer. And also, um, and also of course, uh, uh, Green Lantern. Now, a lot of people have wondered who the seventh figure is is going to be in the Justice League movie. No one really knows. DC is being, being very cagey. They introduced a new opening that has a ton of characters that include Hawkman and Hawkwoman, but, and, and even uh, Shazam, formerly known as Captain Marvel. Uh, Marvel won the battle of copyright over that one. Um, 
So they changed uh, Billy Batson's superhero identity to, to just Shazam, although I kind of was partial to Captain Thunder and Flashpoint. Anyway, um, so there's this one point of contention where I disagree with the new media rock stars, um, or the just I think now they're just the new rock stars. There's just this one part of the trailer where I kind of disagree with them, and I'm going to show you just that one part. You said you'd come. Now let's hope you're not too late. Okay, so we hear this thud. Alfred's glass of Chardonnay or whiskey or whatever it is, it shakes. And then he looks up and he kind of looks odd. And he's like, he said you'd come. Now let's hope you're, you're not too late. Right? Or something along that line. Which... Michael Caine will always be Alfred to me, but Jeremy Irons, you're doing good as Alfred. Got to give you props. But anyway, neither here nor there. Um, so the new rock stars, their theory is that this is a villain. That this is maybe Steppenwolf or another one of Darkseid's minions or maybe an evil version of Superman. This is where I depart from most of their analysis because why would Alfred say, let's hope you're not too late? See, Alfred is expecting this guy or girl to come along and to help the Justice League. And I think he's odd because he's surprised by who it is. And I think that's why I think it's not a bad guy or a, vil or a super villain or whatever you want to call it. Now, there's been a ton of, uh, of speculation, again, about who the seventh Justice Leaguer is going to be. And we've got Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, the DC Trinity... We've got Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman. Who is the mysterious number seven? And I think that this person who appears is this number seven. I think he is the seventh Justice League member. Now, I'm going to take a moment to rule out who these people might, or who this person might be. Now, in one version of Justice League, Black Canary was a founding member of the Justice League. She's awesome. You see her a lot in the Arrowverse. You saw her on Birds of Prey, the the really lame uh, uh, WB show that was along the same lines as Smallville. Um, it was a very lame show, but Black Canary nonetheless was a main character in that. And so it's pop, uh, some, so I just but I want to rule her out because I I don't think that Alfred would have reacted with kind of this awe. Not to say that female characters don't bring awe, but this would be if it was a female character, it would it would be a reaction. I think Alfred would have to say Wonder Woman, but Black Canary she's got all the martial arts skills of Batman. Plus, she has her sonic scream, her canary cry, that's very, uh, very prominent. And she's also a girlfriend of uh, Green Arrows. So I think if it was her uh, as the seventh Justice Leaguer, I think Alfred's reaction, they would have filmed that a little differently. Um, I don't think it's Green Arrow, by the way. I would love to see Charlie Hoonan take on, take on the, um, the quiver, as they say, but um, I don't think it's him either. Uh, I think Green Arrow, he's famous enough, thanks to the Arrowverse, that they would have bragged about, oh, now he's in the DCEU, he's not just in the Arrowverse, now we have the Green Arrow. I think uh, that uh, that would be more prominent, so I'm just going to rule them out. I don't think it's Hawkman or Hawkwoman. I think that we would have seen, they would have done something with a feather. If it had been them, you know, they would have put that little screen. Also, I don't think, though Hawkman and Hawkwoman, they're as strong as uh, as Aquaman. I don't think that they would have made the resounding thud that you heard. Um, and also, I think Alfred would have said, um, he said you both would come. I don't think, uh, so I don't think it's either one of them. Uh, and also, ex with the exception of the Justice League animated series, Hot Girl and Hot Man, have never been a founding member of the Justice League, as far as I know, at least not in any of the, the prime incarnations. I know they were big in Justice League Europe and Justice League International. I don't think it's Captain Adam, because Captain Adam, he has a small but very loud fan base. I love Captain Adam. I thought he was great in Justice League Unlimited. But I don't think it's him, because since his powers are radiation-based, I think we would have seen like a little bit of a glow uh, 
normally his powers manifest in a in a yellow light. So I think we would have, of course, then I, I would probably be suggesting Sinestro, but no, it was, I don't think it's uh, Captain Atom. Um, I don't think it's Icon. Um, some people have speculated that maybe it's Icon. Now, Icon uh, is, he's kind of an esoteric character. He was originally from a another imprint that DC Comics owned, him and his sidekick Rocket. But... Uh, um, and in fact, he is just as powerful as Superman. Um, and they have, um, they merged him in with the main uh, continuity. And in fact, we saw him in the Young Justice um, animated series. Um, some have said it's Green Lantern. I don't think it's Green Lantern. I think they would have given us a little bit of a green glow if it was, if it was, uh, if it was Green Lantern. Um, now, I could be wrong about that. But I, I think that they would have given us a little bit bigger of a hint. So now I'm going to go through the characters I think it might be. I think there's a strong possibility that it could be two characters. My first thought is Black Adam. Now I know Black Adam is primarily a villain, but it seems with the casting of Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam for uh, the Shazam film, I think and then he's going to have a spinoff movie, and there's rumors he may even appear in Man of Steel 2. I think that there's a strong possibility that they may make Black Adam more of an anti-hero, kind of like the Red Hood. So I think that this um, character could be Black Adam. Um, you know, he's been in hiding because he was defeated by the wizard at the end of the Earth. Um, that's his new name now because now that Billy Batson is Shazam, they changed the wizard's name to... The wizard at the end of the earth. Why not just call him the wizard? Anyway, moving right along. Um, he's been in hiding after his defeat. And so when he lands, that's the thunderclap of him saying, Shazam! And uh, he's approaching Alfred. And so maybe that's why Alfred looks a little intimidated. Because it's actually, it's Black Adam. And maybe Alfred recognizes Black Adam. And, he, and so, but Black Adam is here to help. Because... One thing about Black Adam, he doesn't want to destroy the world. He wants to rule it. So that's why in, in, in the Injustice video game, when Superman turns evil, Black Adam sides with Superman because he wants, he's kind of like Megatron. You know, Megatron's big slogan was peace through tyranny. And that's kind of how Black Adam is. He wants to rule the world through his tyrannical reign because he's, he has this misguided sense of what justice and order is. You know, he's, he's, uh, Basically, a communist. You know, we're gonna we're gonna rule everyone so that no one commits a crime. So, I think that's a strong possibility. Um, I think that um, the second biggest possibility is that it's actually Shazam. It's Billy Batson, and maybe he has his powers and he used them once and something went wrong, and so he's been in hiding. But Batman, being Batman, he knows that Billy Batson is Shazam. Now, I know it might be confusing some people. Because you might think, oh, isn't that Captain Marvel? No. DC has made a conscious decision not to call Billy Batson Captain Marvel anymore. Because Marvel has all the attention. So, um, I mean, why? Why would you want to call him Captain Marvel anyway? Now, I know he was originally Captain Marvel, and maybe they'll make like a like a, a weird newspaper reference. Like maybe the Daily, uh, the Daily Planet calls him... Captain Marvel at one point, but why would you want to do that? I mean, let let Marvel have Captain Marvel. I, I still think it would have been better if they'd called him Captain Thunder, which they might because uh, they're doing a Flashpoint movie is confirmed. So, long story short, um, there's I think that this guy could be Billy Batson, and that the that the thud you heard was him saying Shazam and turning into Shazam. I think, and that's another reason why Alfred looks kind of intimidated and awed. Because remember, Shazam is just as powerful as Superman. Now, I know I'm going to have all the Superman robots and fans are going to go crazy. And they're going to say, Oh my gosh, you said Shazam! This is powerful! Let's remember, Shazam is powered through magic. And what's one of Superman's three primary uh, weaknesses? Hmm, kryptonite, alien technology, and, oh yeah, magic. So anyway, neither here nor there. I think that this is a big possibility that they're copying 
the animated New 52 Justice League War, because in Justice League New 52 War, they replaced Aquaman with Shazam. But since the trailer made it clear that there's no lanterns around Earth, they're going to make, um, that's why they, uh, Steppenwolf thinks this is a good time to invade with his army of parademons. That's why they're going to use uh, Shazam. Now, I, I'm going to contradict myself a little bit because I said earlier I don't think that it's Green Lantern, but if um, if there was a time to introduce Green Lantern, this would be it for DC. Because I know that they have a movie called Green Lantern Corps, and it's going to focus on Hal Jordan, Jon Stewart, and Guy Gardner, who are the three big... Now, I know there's, there's new characters. There's Jessica, and there's Simon, and also... Um, Alan Scott, but I don't see them as Green Lantern. Um, what I think, um, if it was Green Lantern, and again, I know I'm contradicting myself, because I honestly don't think it is, but there's a, a sliver, there's like a 2% chance it is. I think that this Green Lantern is going to be Avin Sur. Um, and they're going to introduce Avin Sur, and Avin Sur is going to die, and then Sinestro wants his ring for some reason, but the ring goes to a human, which is going to make Sinestro really angry. I think that's the only way it could be Green Lantern at this point. But again, I think if it was, they would have kind of, they would have thrown us a bone with like a little bit of green light, which you do see a little bit of green in the trailer. But I, I agree with the new rock stars. I think it's just a, a sensor. So I don't think it's a, a villain. If it is, it's going to be Black Adam. Um, but again, I think it's going to be more of him as an anti-hero Shazam. Um, the only other possibility is this is Superman. He's back from the dead, um, and it's going to be something out of the nightmares that Bruce saw. I think it's going to be. I think Superman's going to appear in the black suit. They've already released some Justice League art, some preliminary artwork that shows a black-suited Superman, which I believe Tim Burton wanted to do a Superman movie where he wore the black suit instead of his his classic red and blue because he wanted to make Superman look uh, more masculine, which, man, Superman needs an injection of masculinity these days. But anyway, um, that's my theory. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I off base? Or do you agree with the new rock stars that it's not just an anti-hero, that it is a villain? Um, do you think that it's... Um, that it's one of Darkseid's minions? Do you think it's one of Superman's old foes? Um, let me know in the comments below and uh, tell me what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll like and subscribe and also share this video. You can find me on Twitter at RealJacobAry, Instagram Real.Jacob.Ary. Find me on Facebook, author Jacob Ary. And of course, you can read my writings on dailywire.com. And of course, pick up your copy of my paranormal novel, Cacophony. And uh, you can find it on Amazon.com and Barnes and Noble. Once again, give me a big thumbs up and tell all your friends about me. I'll see you next week right here on Studio Jake.